Well, that would place a tighter new limit on how much cold and allergy medicine you can buy has moved forward at the state house. A house committee heard a bill limiting the amount of drugs you can purchase in the name of stopping the spread of methamphetamine. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox explains. The goal of the bill, which has already passed the Senate, is to limit the amount of the raw materials used to illegally manufacture crystal meth. But supporters and opponents agree that it will cause hardship for some people with chronic allergies who buy a lot of these products. The bill would limit Hoosiers to an approximately eight-month supply each year. Anything above that would be caught on the state's automated tracking system, which would block the sale. To get more, you'd have to go to your doctor for a prescription. Sponsors call it a good compromise that will allow most Hoosiers to buy what they need without a prescription while helping to choke off the supply to meth labs. Speaking to doctors, they felt if somebody needs a pill a day 12 months out of the year, you really should be under a doctor's care anyway. And, and from what we've heard, most people are under a doctor's care if they're, if they're using that much product. Since the state tracks the sale of these drugs through driver's licenses, parents who buy for their children would have all the purchases listed on their names, which could bring them up against the limit much sooner. But the medical community is just happy that lawmakers aren't forcing all ephedrine and pseudoephedrine purchases to require prescriptions. I think it strikes a reasonable balance um, between the needs of the law-abiding patient and the requests that the law enforcement has made about uh, restricting some access to these medications. Former State Health Commissioner Richard Feldman says requiring prescriptions for all purchases of the two drugs would overburden patients and the health care system. The prescription will result in increased cost to patients by a doctor's visits, child care while they're at the doctor, time away from work, and the higher cost of prescription drug. The committee didn't vote on the bill today because the snow kept out of town witnesses from testifying. It will vote on the bill next week. At the State House, I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. Some lawmakers say doctors could ease the burden on patients by calling in prescriptions, but doctors say it would violate medical ethics to issue a prescription without seeing the patient.